Today I'm going to show you a very simple method to find and replace beams or columns by either size or type mark. So for example this 530UB92 I'm going to change to uh, 150UB14 like that and you can use either member size or type mark to find and replace. And a reminder that you can get more tutorials like this at our website and you can also download the scripts if you prefer rather than building them yourself from the videos and feel free to have a look at some of the other services we offer including model conversion, reinforcement, visualizations etc. Right so I've just got this example model here it's a fairly small one but say I wanted to turn all the 460 UB82s to 530 UBs. Um, there's a few methods people can do this. It's um, mostly people will either export the schedule to Excel or they will group the schedule in Revit and change member sizes there. But both of those methods are a bit fiddly and this method in Dynamo is um, not only really quick and easy but it's more versatile which I'll show you in a minute. So the most basic way to do this is just to find all the family types in the model. So I'm going to, I've got a lot of families in here but I'm going to look for the 460 UB82. There we are. So that's Dynamo will get all those members straight away. It's running automatically. I'm actually going to turn it to manual um, just because when we start changing member sizes we don't want it to be running in a loop continuously. Um, now it gets a family type there so what we want next is all elements of that type. Okay, that gives us a family type. So what I want is all elements of family type. Now if I run that, I've found 44 elements. So there's 44, 460 EV. 82s in there. Now I want to change that member size and the way you do that is whoops, element set parameter by name. So you've got the elements, you've got the parameter name. Now I'm just going to name it as type and I do it in talking marks with a semicolon at the end and that just makes a string. Alternatively I could um, just set up a string it might be easier and just put type in there. And the value I want to set another member size so I'm just going to copy and paste this and I'm going to change them to a 530.82. So if I look at this member, if I zoom into this, 460UB82, I run this, there you go, 530UB82. So now I've changed 44 members to 530UB82s. So that's the most basic way of doing it. Um, now most projects will use either beam marks or beam type marks. So I'll show um, how that's done. I'll go to plan view. 
So here I've got one of the levels and I've set up my tag so it's got the type mark, a dash and then the element size. So beam size. So to do type marks, now I'll just, I'll just freeze this so that this won't run when it's in dotted uh, dash notation that nothing will run. But I'm going to copy and paste this family type so I'll unfreeze it. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these member sizes. So I just made that a 530UB82 and you'll see that it doesn't have a type mark. So I want a way of giving all 530UB82s a type mark of say, I don't know, B5 or something. So to do that, again, we use all elements of family type same thing as above. The difference here is that um, we don't want to set just a property of each element of the 44 elements. You want to set a property of the family. So um, in Revit you've got each individual element could have a mark which is fine, some people do it that way, but a lot of people do type mark, so the family will have a mark rather than just the element itself. So to get the family, whoops, all you've got to do is, I'm just going to get the first item, because I only want one of these 44 members. and I want to get a parameter. There it is. And I want to put that one element that I'm going to get. And I'm going to set up a string again. And the parameter I want is the family. So if I run that, I should have 44 members here. I just get the first one. And this allows me to get a family type out. So family type is 530 UB82. You can see that down there. So now that I've got the family, not just the element, I can use this same component up here that we used before. I'm using the family. The parameter name will be um, the type mark. So I'll just use string for this. Type mark. And the value will be something that I, um, another string. It could be anything I want. So I'm going to make it B5 or say B7 actually. So if I run that, you can see all the 530 UB82s now have the type mark B7. So a good thing to do in um, Dynamo is just rename them. So if I have, if I say this is from family type, and I rename this to, whoops, whoops, shouldn't have done that. Rename node to mark. So I know that I select a family type here and I change it to this mark.
Okay, so now we can quickly type mark all our members. And the last thing uh, is how can I use the type mark to change member sizes because the next level um, that a lot of companies do is they'll have not every single 310 UB46 will be a B1 for example so you will have a B1 or a B3 or a B5 and they're all the same size because it, but they do a different function so you want a different mark so to do that we do a similar thing so I'm going to set up a string I'm just going to rename this straight away so I'm going to call this from type mark and I'm going to look for the B7 now the way to do this because we've got to go through find the family and then get the um, find that mark in that that type mark in that family is I'm going to use categories and structural framing which will get everything in the model all the structural framing will be selected structural connections so that will select all structural framing then all elements of category because I've, I've got a category out so if I run this now I'll just freeze this one up here because I don't want to use that at the same time I just want to run this what we're working on here that gives me 179 elements so I've got 179 beams and columns and then I'm going to go element get parameter by name and I want to get all the families so I'm just going to use a code block here but it's exactly the same way as, as using string but you just have to put it in talking marks and put a semicolon at the end whoops um, another thing I'm going to use is type marks so I'm just going to type these in now so I want all the families from all the elements in the project so if I run that I've got 179 family families so from those families I want to get the type mark so I've got all these families so I'm just going to use exactly the same component to get the type mark so all these families and I want the type mark so if I run that still got my 179 elements and you can see I've found all the type marks for all the members in the project so now I wanted to just find one particular type mark B B7 so how we do that is is you say list All indices of so you've got your list of 179 marks 
you want to find this B7. So if I run that, I've found 44 members with B7 in them, regardless of their size. So you could have, um, you're not just selecting all the 530 UB82s anymore. There might be other ones with different marks, but you just selected B B7, which is the advantage of this last method. So now I've found a, the indices of the 44 items within that list. I just need to use, uh, I need to find the elements that are associated with those indices. So if I say list dot get item at index. So I've got the list. Oh, sorry. That's wrong. Got the indi indexes. And I want to test all the elements. So I got all the elements before uh, originally uh, from the category. So I'm going to use that list. If I run that, that gives me all the elements that I want, the 44 elements. And then the last step is similar to what we did before. Take off all these. I've got the elements. The parameter name will be type because that's the size that's how you change the size. Whoops. So if I go to type and the value, I'm going to use one of these drop down boxes again. And say I want to change it to a 530 UB92 instead of an 82. I'll plug that into there. And I run that. And these should change to 530 UB92s. Now you'll notice that the 530UB92 doesn't have a type mark um, as yet, but you can just use the previous method, use this middle section to give it a mark. Um, or if you've manually or some other way got two different 530 UB92s with different marks. Um, it will only literally do just the ones with uh, the mark. So I hope uh, people found that useful. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.